Are you serious? Are you serious? Poland, Poland has sent tanks and troops to the Ukraine border. That's exactly right. I have two confirmation reports on this, even though lamestream media doesn't want to touch this yet, but you'll hear of it. Poland, uh, the conflict in Ukraine begins to expand as countries and allies with the European Union are rattling sabers with Russia over control of the struggling country. Now, it's been reported by multiple sources uh, yesterday on March the 3rd, 2014, that Poland is now involved with the conflict as they began massing troops and tanks along the border with Ukraine. Poland's Prime Minister Donald Tusk said on Sunday it was essential to prevent Russia's seizure of the Crimea, expanding into a wider regional conflict. So we should be able to stop Russia in its aggressive moves precisely in order to avoid a conflict, Prime Minister Tusk of Poland told reporters after an extraordinary meeting with his party leaders. However, the European Union and Western powers are just as guilty of creating this conflict as Russia is. And that's because the Americans and the Western European Union were trying to persuade the Ukrainians to join the EU. But you can't blame them. The people wanted to join the EU. All right, so anyway, Vladimir Putin has responded to these comments saying that his fear of violence from the ultra-nationalist prompted him to make his recent military decisions. This is the red alert. This is not a threat. This is actually a declaration of war to my country, said Ukraine's Prime Minister Arsny Yatsukuk. He told reporters in English, a day after Russia's parliament approved the deployment of troops to Ukraine. Quote, if President Putin wants to be president, who started a war between two neighboring and friendly countries, between Ukraine and Russia, he has reached his target within a few inches. We are on the brink of a disaster, he added. Now, that re I will put that link of that report down below. Also, I have another report here from uh, the, Turner, the Turner Network, Turner Radio Network, Poland deploying tanks to its Ukrainian border. Uh, while countries around the world are uh, decrying Russia for invading the Ukraine, Poland is saying nothing, but it is deploying trainloads of tanks and armored personnel carriers to its border with Ukraine. Poland vows it will never fall to Russia again. They don't trust Russia. They, there was over 2 million Christians murdered in Poland by uh, Russian forces. Trust me, Poland will never surrender again. They will never allow it. And so that even though this conflict is with Ukraine, immediately Poland put their defense forces in play along the border, and they should. The video below, and there's a video on this, uh, and I'll put the link uh, below in my website here or on this YouTube video, uh, but it was show, it was taken today, a video of in Poland showing armored personnel carriers driving on the streets, but more importantly, shows train loads of tanks parked, night short, hard to see, look across the tanks you'll see, at a computer rail station, another train load of tanks moving by rail toward the Polish border with Ukraine. It is absolutely a fact that Poland is preparing themselves in case Vladimir Putin, in case the bear decides to not only take out Ukraine, but take out Poland, or take out uh, Georgia, maybe, or other nations there uh, that are near its borders. So we'll continue to manage and monitor the current world events that are taking place around the globe as the whole world, all of a sudden, the Sochi Winter Olympics is over, but the games have begun, and we'll continue to man, uh, monitor what's happening. And, and uh, really, I'm in prayer 
We don't need World War III. We don't need we don't need another unstable region. We've already got Syria and the Middle East. We've already got North Korea, China, and Japan. We don't need now Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Georgia, or anyone else that would get involved in another major conflict. Pray for one another. Pray for the people in Ukraine. They are begging for prayers. Christian pastors have contacted us. We're praying with them in Ukraine. Uh, pray for the body of Christ. We're living in the last days. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ.